Oh, just a tap, and we didn't lose our points. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsports 7. So, I do want to apologize for the limit of videos that I've been uploading recently. I've been getting the computer rig set up with, you know, new forms of uh, recording, such as the Snowball mic, got the Elgato set up, but going to be getting into that more here in the next week or so, changing up recording styles, doing some PC racing on a Seto and drifting and such like that with some uh, Seto mods on PC. But today we're here on Forza Motorsports 7 in that S13. Wide body sitting right there. We're here at Maple Valley to try something a little different. There, I got a comment on a pre previous video from a subscriber asking if his wheel setup only has two pedals and a sequential, basically no, um, you know, not an H pattern. Can he still drift? Uh, the answer to that is yes. You can drift, you know, without a clutch. You can drift without a handbrake. You can drift in a sequential gearbox. You can even drift in automatic. So today I'm going to try and change my settings around and uh, do some drifting in other aspects. So as you know, I have switched it from manual with clutch to just manual. I don't have it set up sequential um, because I don't have paddles. So I'm still going to be using it as a regular H pattern, but it'll work the same way as the sequential. If just up shifting, down shifting. I just have to move my hand a little bit more. Um, I will not be using the handbrake or the clutch. Um, and I will be on full rotation. So, and I'm not changing the setup specifically on the car to um, make the rear lock up more. As you see, tires are still there, gear ratio, suspension setup, springs. It's basically my standard drift tune that I that that I got on this S13, braking pressure down there, and you know rear diff. So we're gonna rip this here at Maple Valley and see how this goes without uh, without clutch. And all that to prove that you can drift. Well, I hope. <laughs> I hope I can. You can drift without, you know, a clutch and a handbrake. So if your wheel setup does have two pedals and not three, and you don't have a handbrake wired up and you have a button, that's even better if you can use a button. I'm going to actually do it without using a handbrake, period. Uh, basically using the way of the car, braking, unsettling the car. Hopefully it looks as cool as it sounds, but, you know, we'll find out. So we're going to head right into this. Here at Maple Valley Short. And uh, let's see what happens. Like I said, I don't have it set in sequential, so it's just like a sequential. So we're gonna flick it in. Here we go. Uh, right, see, I should have rolled the brakes. I keep forgetting, I wanna hit clutch, but we don't have a clutch. Use the just mainly all the power of the car, using brakes a little bit to control speed and angle using the brakes to unsettle the car oh too much Ooh. but basically I'm here to see if I can actually do this because this is actually a lot different than what I'm used to quick control flick a little brake on there more, just power into it um can you do it yeah it's possible I'm doing it right now but is it easy by no means I mean, you've really got to get used to it. But see, that's not too bad. Using the way of the car to throw it, that's actually not that bad. Um, adjust your car a little bit. Maybe, you know, set the brake bias a little bit more to the rear. I'm just going to flick that in. Ride the brakes in there to keep slow us down. That was actually not a bad entry. And I would recommend a car with a lot of power to just do a lot of power over and just being able to roast the tires because without being able to clutch kick, and not flick it with an e-brake. You're going to need as much power as you can. I just went into the clutch thinking there's a clutch, but there is no clutch. So, is it possible? Yeah, it's definitely possible to drift with two pedals on a wheel setup. So, if your wheel setup has two pedals, don't worry. You can actually drift just like anybody else. Uh, you're, you may have to have a little bit different style than everybody. You may have to throw the car a lot harder or do some, you know, really insane faint initiations like I'll do on this one I'll try um, but your style is gonna be a lot more aggressive that's for sure so we're gonna faint this we're gonna kick it back this way 
Break it, kick it back, use the brace slows down, too much. And then just on the throttle. I should have got on throttle sooner, but so yeah. You can definitely drift with two paddles. This is actually kind of fun. We're gonna change up cars. Ooh. Yep, we're gonna change up cars. Change up cars, change up track, and uh continue this drifting with no clutch, no handbrake. And uh it's a bit of a workout though. All right, so what car are we gonna run? We're gonna run, probably run. This car was running 646 horse. This car has 520. We got a lot of S14s. See what else we got that we can run. I mean, we could throw in. Actually, we'll do the Alfa Romeo tune. This Alfa Romeo tune is up actually on the uh, marketplace. It is available for you to get. I did tune this thing, it uh, it handles pretty well. So, we're gonna change up tracks, a I think. Where do we wanna go? Lime Rock? No. Ooh, I haven't been here in a while. Let's, uh. Yeah, let's throw it into uh, some uh, Indianapolis. Let's see if we can get that high speed entry. Probably not without a handbrake, but I mean, if you do have a wheel, even if you don't have uh, an actual hydraulic handbrake, you do have a handbrake button, so you can handbrake button. We may, uh, I don't think we're going to actually try and use a button. We're going to do this without a handbrake, no clutch, just basically using the weight of the car. Um, kind of impressed the fact that I was able to drift as well as I did in that last little drifting section because uh, I haven't tried this before, so... You know, cheers to the subscriber for uh, bringing this up and uh, giving me a little bit of a challenge here. So we're going to run this in the Alpha Tune. This tune is up, so if you guys like it and I'm actually able to drift it like this, you can download that tune. Uh, it's up there. Give it a shot. Let me know what you guys think. Like I said, I am just running a normal shifter, so if you have paddles, it works the same way. I'm just using my hand off. So we're going to have to throw this pretty hard. I throw that way too soon. How do we change views? There we go. Like I said, you're gonna need a car that's got some pretty substantial amount of power. Now this car does have a decent amount of power. Ooh, I threw that way too wrong. Um, I mean, you can always adjust the tire pressure, put a lot more tire pressure to the rear to make it slide better and weight transfer more, but I'm trying to do this on normal drift tunes. There we go. Because once you get sliding, it's the same way. It's just how you have to initiate without a clutch and be able to keep power going. That was a really nice turn. To keep power going in the car. So you have to have a car with a lot more power because you can't clutch kick through the turn to keep, uh, to keep your wheel spin. I lost all the points. This car is actually a lot of fun. So we're going to do a little bit of a comparison here, I guess you could say. I will turn my clutch and everything back on and my handbrake here in a second. I'm going to get one good lap where we don't uh, lose all our points. And then I'll throw my clutch back on, throw my handbrake back on, and... Uh, Throw this car back out here and see what the difference in points values are. Ooh, this is alpha though. So much fun in this car. Alright, here we go. So, see what we can do. I do have the handbrake set up, but I don't need it. But you can do a handbrake without a clutch, so you do have that ability. Go. That's what I wanted to do. Doing a lot of left foot braking too. Going to fourth. I wanted to go for the handbrake, but I didn't grab it. Next lap, I'll be able to use the handbrake. Little brake tap to unsettle the car. 
Oh, too much snap. Saved it though, we're good. There we go. Like I said, this alpha handles so nice. The tune is up. You guys want to download this alpha tune and give it a shot yourself. I want to keep those points. <laughs> Trying to get a good run lap here. We're at uh, 15,000 points right now. Not a bad run so far. I'm feeling we'll be a lot better with the handbrake and everything. How did we not lose our points to there? But I could be wrong. We could score so much more points this way because I have to throw it more. So my angles are a lot higher than I would when I'm normally with a handbrake. So I'm curious to see what the difference in points will be with a clutch and a handbrake compared to this lap without clutch and handbrake. Wow. I'm actually pretty impressed with this run so far. A little brake tap. So, no clutch, no handbrake, two pedals, 34,446. So let's, uh, I guess we could just turn our assist back on. Manual with clutch. There we go. Now we got manual with clutch. We got our handbrake. Good. So now let's see what we can do with this. The entry is so much more nasty with handbrake for sure. Oh boy. I'm staying in a much higher gear than I should be, I think. There we go. I mean, you have more control with the clutch and handbrake for sure. I should have downshifted there. Don't get me wrong. Drifting is a lot easier with all those, but you don't need them. I just proved the fact that you don't need them in order to have a really nice drift run, drift lap. Don't need them. Yeah, you can enter a lot sooner probably and get more points. When you have a handbrake and a clutch, and you can link turns probably a lot better, and keep angle in the car by clutch kicking or pull knee brake a little bit, but it is possible otherwise. Ooh, here we go. Yeah, we definitely beat our previous lap little clutch kick oh there Ooh. Ooh. wow so 42,422 uh I had fun with that high speed entry I think where it throws in in fifth oh no too much <laughs> Well, I tried. <laughs> so I think before we end this video off, we're going to hit an online session. So I will see you guys when I get into a session. All right, so online session here. Rio circuit, Rio mountain circuit, definitely like Rio mountain. We are in our Alfa Romeo using our 350 millimeter energy innovations wheel, Logitech G920 base, custom hydraulic can brake, Logitech shifter in our energy innovations bucket seat. And uh, see what we can do in this online session. It's a very tight track. It's a pretty full lobby. I think it's actually a full lobby. Uh, this is going to be very tight, very crazy. I may have to wait. Uh, hopefully I'm towards the front so I can just go and not get involved in all the crashing. Because I would like to get a decent finish in this online hopper. And we're in the middle of the pack. Joy. Oh my gosh. All right, we're gonna hopefully go now. All right, we got a bit of a gap.
Don't want to hit that V8 FC. Alright. There we go. Let's hopefully we can get some good laps. Don't spin out, my man. Ooh. So sketchy. And these tight corners. With all these other players. Let's send this uphill, though. See car behind me. Don't touch me, dude. Oh, yeah. Bank those. Oh, no. Get wrecked. Ah. Uh, that was my chance to stay up in the lobby. And, uh, well, I just lost 10 grand. So, get wrecked. Dude, just lost the spoiler. Like I said, this Alpha Tune is up and available for you to download if you always want to give it a shot. You can rip around this FC. There we go. That was nice. It's a smoke show up here. Don't, ooh, don't hit the caddy. I mean, we are intent. Definitely want to keep this going. And not wreck ourselves this time oh man he wasn't a ghost I freak myself out on online sessions all the time I should just go for it let's do it let's go send it they weren't ghosts see that's what happens when I just send it thinking they're ghosts but they're not We were 10. I think this is probably the hardest track to do an online session with because of how small it is. But I do love that downhill entry. Now we got some clear track. I thought I was gonna hit the front of my car on that wall. Let's not save it. I want to make those points. I know I I twist out on that but oh thought I was gonna save those points nope nope that guy's probably so pissed Oh, just a tap, and we didn't lose our points. That was sick. I don't know how we saved that. I for sure thought we were going to wreck. There we go. We carried uphill. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, that man should have been getting off track. Online sessions. It's a heart attack waiting to happen. Not, still not doing too, too bad. I mean, we wish we were doing a little bit better, but... Can never get this turn right, but... Clutch kick it in, try and save some points. Bumps get me all the time, but... Dude, this is probably one of my favorite downhill turn entries. Oh, I misjudged it. Uh, as I say that, I misjudged that turn, but... Ooh, get out of that man's way. Or woman's way, whoever's, whoever, you know, whoever that may be. Every time I see that caution sign, I get scared, that guy's a ghost. That means not. Oh, thank you for keeping my points. Back in 10th. We'd probably be a lot higher if we didn't lose that 11,000 points in the beginning. I get scared every time I hear cars behind me. There we go. I, finally, there we go. That's what I wanted. 
that. Don't don't lose those points. There we go. Whew. Two minutes left in this session. I entered that too late. No. Oh. Um. So apparently, you can tap the wall there and not lose your points. I'll take it. And this thing up the hill. Come on, dude. Let's go. Yup. Make those points up in six now. Oh, running that wall. What? Oh, that was sick. Could you imagine if I didn't lose that 10,000 some points in the beginning? I'd be right up there with the first place guy for sure. This alpha is just screaming. That dude wrecked. Oh, I thought I misjudged that again. That was the biggest heart attack I just had. Don't lose those points, thank you. Trying to keep my points as much as I can now. Thank you for being a ghost. You know, he didn't have a choice in the matter, but just a tap. Can we crack fifth? Oh my god, he's so close. This is so close. No, that's not gonna do it. Apparently that man wants his own run. Nope. Yeah, let them go. Those guys are definitely, I think they're like first and second. No, we lost six. No, no, that can't happen. Yep, apparently that's how this is gonna end. Ah, uh, I think that's gonna do it here for this episode. Here on Forza Motorsport 7. If you guys like to see, you wanna see more. Don't forget to tap that like button, subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate all the support. So until next time, guys, you know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. This is a massive train, and I could barely see. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I just I got knocked down the ninth, and I'm out. I'm loving, I'm tipsy, cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision, and she ain't fun to sip.